My name is Masud Oluku Lawal, and I'm a very close friend of the retiree. Aladi Ibrahim Guru Silom Gold. Uh, we got to know ourselves. It should be around 1980 when we got to know ourselves. And since then, we've been very, 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 very close. And uh, as the Yoruba says, uh, that is, uh, you must have some trade, common traits for you to be friends. So it means we have some common traits. People have described him as hardworking, honest, selfless person. Yes, they are not lying. He's done his best for the nation. And as to prayer for him, I cannot wish him anything more than good. And as we are made to understand in our holy book, Quran, Baba, as we call him in the house. We call him Baba, the family call him Baba, and some of his friends who are close to us, they call him Baba. Mm -hmm. The name Baba has, a, it has an origin. And it's been, uh, I pray that God will keep us alive for a long time with good death and return us back to our place so that we may enjoy ourselves. In those days, we play the game of Ludo, we play badminton. They are another group, they play Monopoly, I don't judge them in play Monopoly, and this entertaining. For once, we never fought. They, well, we were together and we operated the pharmacy and the pharmacy. In Alakwe, in Lucas. And uh, some people came and I said, he's my friend. He was mad with me, because everybody always thought we are brother of the same. Somehow we are related a long way. I could remember his late dad. He didn't got to know that I'm, my, where I came from. He said, so you have this place and you are behind yourself. That was, it. that was what he said. I'm, in that gold family, I'm a member of the gold family. He said, he first of life, actually prepared me some gold for the post. He for the roses he played in Supreme Court. They were pioneers of Jebba Teachers College in 1974. So you know pioneers, what they go through. They are the founders, they have to do a lot of sacrifice, and luckily for them, they had good leaders as principal and teachers. So, but me, I went to Okene Secondary School. Went to Yaba Teachers College. From Yaba Teachers College to the College of Education. From there to Amadou Bello University. From there to University of Ibadan. From there to University of Jos. To the Secondary School in Okene, Yaba. NCE in Eloni. A bachelor of science, a library science in ABU. And he went to Ibadan to go and do MSc, Master of Science, Library Science. Then from there, he came to National Human Rights Commission. He worked in the Lagos, Lagos Polytechnic in the library. From there to now, they were also his now. He was all a pioneer staff of National Human Rights Commission. With that exaggeration, who was that one? And they said, okay, one of my relations. In the only Jaguar regime, they went to uh, arrest him. And they didn't see him, so they, it's where they saw. Say, I'm Bashiru, Bashiru is me. Eh? So, Mr. God is me, I'm Mr. God. From the service here, my prayer to God Almighty is that this retirement of my dear husband, Ibrahim Duro Gold, will be the beginning of wisdom in his life. My name is Benkis Abdurrahman Good. I am the retiree's wife, Alaji Brian Good. I would like to say a few things about his retirement. Alhamdulillah, for his successful completion of his work with federal government and Supreme Court in particular. He, I happened to meet him not quite long, but within the little time that we had together, he is a very hard-working man. He worked diligently, he worked under prayer, but he was able to maintain his stand. He's, he's a loving man, a responsible man, a loving man to me. 
and a responsible man to his children. He work very hard and everyone in the office knows him with this. He's very trustworthy and he takes his job diligently. He doesn't joke with his job and he Alhamdulillah, he has done his part and all the legacy he left behind, he's been known for it. People here and there, they are saying one or, thing, one or two things good about him. And that is the fulfillment of a man. When you leave a place, what, what, are you, what do you want to be remembering for? These are one or two things that we've been hearing people saying about him. So I thank Almighty Allah on his behalf and I wish him a successful retirement. My name is uh, Mr. Tunde Adeba King. I'm also uh, a retiree from Supreme Court of Nigeria. I work directly with Mr. Gold and uh, he's my boss. And uh, it's a boss that you know you can uh, you can count on any time, any day. Uh, I thank God for his life that you know today has come also for him also to retire. Uh, thank God for his life. And my prayer that is that you know, after this retirement, uh, he, he won't use it in sickness. Uh, he, won't, he won't use it you know, in, any, in any pain or in any regrets. Uh, by the grace of God, whatever he wants to do next, God will bless him and bless it for him and his family. So that at the end of the day, he will be a, a happy man in life. That's all. Thank you so much. The, the retiree is my brother-in-law. He got married to my sister in 1994. And that's about 28 years ago. He has been more than a brother-in-law to me. He's like a brother. He's an uncle. He provides the health guidance for the advice to me in my education, in my professional life, and even my personal life. Uh, he's a good man. He's a director. It's my organ, our organ in litigation. It's a good man. It's a hard work man. I was working with Mr. Gold around 2010, and I'm honestly enjoying working with him to date. He provides clarity in the work. He is a patient person and very inspirational, and he give he give team excellent motivation to achieve our goals. Hmm. Uh, uh, Mr. Good is somebody that I know since 2002 and he has been a cool-headed uh, man. Uh, I first met him when he was a librarian in our library here and uh, he's somebody that you can uh, approach easily. Uh, he always go out of his way to make sure that everything works well. In fact, he likes to please people. A man with high standard, high low official, and um, how do I put it? Um, high official and. Um, very good, easy going person and um, simple but highly philosophical. So that's just all he is to me from now. Words are not enough to describe or to put it in one word to describe him. It's, it's just too, it's so much to describe now. He's a nice man, work assiduously. She understands, dedicates. And to educated, somebody that is always educated in his work. And he doesn't hurt like hurting people. In the church of his own duty. You know, it doesn't mean you not tell you this person is supposed to do this work. Just to deliver. He like giving you work and you deliver. He makes use of you. Not successfully you are the one in that uh, department. Because he doesn't work he wants his work to to, uh, to flop. So that is Mr. Good for me. Yeah, the man, Mr. Good is a nice, is a nice man with a good character, carrying everyone along. He's doing well. And he's the fearful of God. God fearing.
my name is uh, Ibrahim Gold. The full name is Ibrahim Duro Gold from the learning Kwara State. I was born on 2nd of May 1962 into the Gold family in uh, in Elori. I grew up in uh, Ileife in National State and that is where I did my my primary school. Um, the name of the primary school I attended is uh, and Saludin Primary School of Barbara in uh, in Ileife. So we started and uh, I completed the primary education in 1973. There were three of us. That's uh, Sally Gold. It's not. It's late now. Hamad Gold still in the learning and my uncle self. The three of us, we completed our primary school in 1973. So having completed the primary school, so uh, I mean as we were attending the primary school, eh, we were still going to uh, to EDQ. And aside from that EDQ, we were involved in weaving. You know that is the treat of uh, the traditional, I mean, Ilori, the locality. That's the uh, poultry weaving, but uh, we boy, we were involved in, uh, in in weaving. So, now the weaving I talked about, uh, you do it and you earn small, small money, like uh, one cobble, toro day, that's uh, three, I mean three cobble. You do a lot with that. And then uh, from then, we learn eh, that we, how to save. It's not that we are doing it willingly. There are elders who are weaving. When you do, uh, if there's uh, work you do for them, when they pay you, tomorrow they will ask you, the money you earned yesterday, where is it? Eh? If you say you have kept it, go and bring it. So, now, from them, at least uh, we were unknowingly uh, taught how to, how to save. Uh, we now further our education to, to secondary school. Don't forget, I mentioned three of us. Yes. Well, moved from Ileife to, uh, to Ilori. Now, Sally Gould of Blessed Memory went to Lafi Aji Teacher's Training College in Kwara State. Uh, Hamad Gould went to Government Secondary School in Illinois. And I attended Jeba Teacher's College also in Illinois. Now, the teacher training college that we attended, um, I think in 1973, the federal government introduced a, a policy of education, which is a, they call it UPE, Universal Primary Education. So now they now needed teachers eh, who will teach in this uh, primary school. Therefore, teacher training colleges were established. So, like at the teachers college and Java Teachers College eh, were among those that were established. So we resumed in that school on October 18, 1974. So we were the first set in that, uh, in that school. Now, by whatever, which uh, we cannot explain, uh, we were taken to that school not that our parents, our parents didn't follow us. Uh, we attended and they just took us 
I think there was a place, there was a lorry that was there. So all the the contributed children, we all gathered there. They just put us in that uh, lorry with our iron boxes. So there, there we went. So we went to to Jeba. On getting to Jeba, no building. So we use uh, I think UMCA. I can't remember. But we use a primary an existing primary school as our hostel and uh, and classroom. So we ended up in that uh, uh, in that school. So we started like like that. So one striking thing about Java Teachers College is that uh, when we resumed, I cannot recall the population, but it was only three that were female. All others were male. I think the authority didn't realize it, not until we resumed. So when we resumed, they realized that it was uh, three of us. I can remember one, I think Zainab Audu was one of the girls and two others, I can't remember who. Now, what they did was to, to swap. So they took some of the boys to all these existing uh, I mean, the established school. Uh, teacher training uh, schools. So they now brought girls, uh, at least to, to have more, more, more girls. In uh, secondary school, teacher training uh, college, you know, the enthusiasm is that yes, we are now in secondary school. So we started a uh, five years uh, program. So we started from one, from two, from three. We now suddenly realized that uh, when we were on holidays, uh, when we got to that uh, middle class from three, uh, our our mates, eh? that's age mates mm -hmm. now in the in the Google, that's in our area. If we talk ah. What subject, uh, what course do you want to pursue after secondary school? Uh, this one will say, I want to be medical doctor, I want to be lawyer, I want to be an engineer. But me, not knowing that if they were training us purposely to be primary school teachers. Mm. So when they talk of physics, chemistry, biology, no, we didn't have that uh, opportunity to know this, uh, I mean, all these uh, courses. What we did was social studies, uh, physical and health education. We didn't do mathematics, it was arithmetic <laughs> that, uh, that we did. So now, having realized that in, uh, form, three. in form three, so I alerted my parents that uh, this school, there's no future. So, and I, said, ah, so I, can, I cannot become a medical doctor, I cannot become an engineer, I cannot be a, a teacher. And that teacher is uh, limited to primary school. So now my parents made a tent uh, to change my school in Form 3 to government secondary school, my lady. We are the Kuala State University is uh, situated mm. now. But when it started, I went to them that I uh, know that I will not go. And they asked me why. I said, I will leave my friends in Jeba and go. No, that uh, no, I, I don't want to be a newcomer anywhere. Because I, if you realize, I did say that uh, uh, we were the first set. He didn't have senior. In secondary school, nobody today can say he was my senior in secondary school. Nobody. <laughs> nobody. So, now he didn't have senior. So I said, ah, if I go there, it's, uh, I will lose my friends here. Then I will be subordinate to. So I said, they should just leave me. They left, they left me there. So we completed in 1979. So when we completed the. Uh, the teacher's training hmm. in 1979. Since was Nigeria was Nigeria then. So
So when uh, in Form 5, I think third term in Form 5, new semester as uh, we, we have it today, when we were in Form 5, the, uh, officers of local government came from various local government to interview us for job opportunity with the class teacher. So I was uh, invited uh, by, I think by the Edu local government in Kuala State. So as I was attending the interview, so they said that uh, I will work in Edu local government. I ran out of the interview. What happened? What happened? Ah, how will I go to it? When there is a learning, he said, No, that uh, they encourage that I should just attend or uh, answer their questions. That if they take me and the learning, that I can choose. I don't know. I will not, since I know I will not go, there is no need for me to. Uh, and there was no need for me to. That was in secondary school. Actually, some of them were, were taking us. Uh, so when we graduated in 1979, so the job was really waiting for us. So I was uh, I was employed and was taken to a primary school in Paris. This is a of uh, it was in the Lorraine local government. It was uh, a suburb in the Lorraine Paris. SMB primary yes. school, very uh, primary school. So I was, I was there for for some. Now, when I was in the primary, eh, as a primary school teacher, so I was there for for some time. I always craved to go to a learning. So now, I think less than a year, I was transferred to a primary school in the learning where I was up to 1983 uh, when I, no, sorry, up to, I can't remember, but I was there, then I got admission to College of Education. Remember, we were trained as a teacher, so I secured admission to College of Education, yes, it was in 1983. Okay. College of Education. Uh, in, in so that's 1983. So we completed that one. Then I okay. Now the issue of uh, higher education. Now mm -hmm. eh? we always claim to go higher, but remember the background. It was arithmetic, social studies, physical and education, IRP. So there was no no combination. You understand? Yes. Sir. So you have to now struggle to do whatever. Eh? On your or, own. Uh, yes, on your own. So on my own, then when I know that uh, now you have to go for that. Uh, on my own, I enrolled for the Ekramura uh, classes, where I was introduced to English literature. Uh, and such subjects. So now we thank God. So uh, we now secure that admission to Barasay College of Education. So having completed that, we now proceeded to uh, Madhubi University, mm -hmm. uh, where I read library and uh, library science. That's uh, 19, 1986. I taught in primary school for like nine years. Yeah? So I graduated in 1989 from Amadou Bello University. I did my NYC in Lagos at uh, the Lagos State Polytechnic. Yeah? So in Lagos, I did my primary assignment at uh, NITEL Library. I read library and uh, library science. Now I completed the national service again uh, before the completion uh, yeah. the job was waiting, waiting. now uh, uh, a classmate of mine uh, Shadi Onodiro uh, mm -hmm. now uh, Mrs. Yusuf so we served and he served at uh, 
Lagos State Polytechnic, okay. where I served in Nite. So we were classmates in, in ADU. In ADU. So I don't know what happened. Shadi and husband just came to Nite one evening like that. It was closing. So he said, he came to see me that uh, he talked about me eh, to the uh, rector of that institution, Lagos State Polytechnic, that you are ready to employ me. I said, I didn't apply. He said, no, I should apply. I said, me, I will not apply. I'm going back to Ilone. <laughs> so there is no need for me to stay in Lagos. He said that uh, I should know that he has spoken well about me. I said, no, they should take me. I said that the uh, ass was sure. But they said they wanted somebody who is as good as she, she was. And there was nobody that she thought of except uh, Ibrahim Gold. So I said, Shadi, no more certain. I'm going back to Ilona. So the husband now uh, talked to me that yeah, I can go there, attend the interview. If they take me and they take me in the right time, I can go back. So I went for the, uh, for the interview and uh, I was taken. I think the project that I wrote as undergraduate on indexing and uh, abstracting uh, that really took the Liberia when you saw it. Well, are you sure you did all this? Uh, so Shade was there, she said, ah, I know that I did. So I was employed. I was in Lagos Polytechnic from that uh, 89 or 90, I think 89, uh, up to 2000 and uh, no, up to I said 1997. Mm. Up to 1997. So in 1997, I got uh, I was just reading newspaper. There was a new Nigeria newspaper there. I saw that for National Human Rights Commission. So I saw it, I went to me, he said, ah, I'm qualified for, for this. So I just applied like that. Without knowing anybody, without saying, one day, let the letter just came for, uh, for interview. Uh, I received the letter. So when I received the letter, by then, I was already uh, doing my master program at UI. Mm -hmm. in library and uh, archival studies. So I got that uh, invitation to come to Abuja National Human Rights uh, Commission. So I came, I became successful with the glory of God. So I left and last put it. Now I joined the National Human Rights uh, Commission. I was there in ninety seven. So I was there up to 2001, when I saw another advert, yeah? that's the Federal Judicial Service Commission advertising for the Supreme Court of Nigeria. That evening, I saw and I applied. I came for the interview. So when I came for, for the interview, I was successful. Now, something striking yeah? happened again at the interview at the, this uh, Federal Judicial Service uh, Commission. I attended the interview. It was chaired by the then Chief Justice of Nigeria, Justice uh, Weiss, chaired the... So they asked me all the questions. <clears throat> After I was assured that I was going to be taken, I was told there and they, they, they congratulated me that at least I performed very well. So that's how I came to to the Supreme Court. <clears throat> so when I came to Supreme Court, that was 2002, as Chief Liberian, the 14. So I was, uh, <clears throat> I've been working as a uh, as Liberian, not until certain time that uh, I just felt that the uh, the work challenging me. That's being a Liberian. And the professionals you are working, uh, you are working with, 
these are the lawyers. So the lawyers will come, they ask certain information, and you will give prompt, you lead them to where they can get information, you get information for them. So at the end, when they are satisfied, Mr. Good, please, when were you called? No, I understand. So they called. I'm not a lawyer. So they are they now look. You are not a lawyer. Then how do you know? I know I was trained as a librarian. It is easy. So now it was now becoming recurring that when you provide services, eh, and the uh, the person you provide the service for feels satisfied. The next thing is the when you are you poor. I'm not a lawyer, so like ah, uh -uh. why are you not? So I now say that too. okay, what is in law? I will now go for uh, for that uh, for that training. So that's how I applied and uh, got a mission to read uh, to read law. Mm -hmm. uh? Yeah, this I didn't know. I was to choose Abuja University, but uh, the filler eh, was not encouraging then. So I said, okay, let me go to university. I could not go to Zaria because I've attended Zaria before. Eh? And if you remember, I said I did masters at Ibadi. So I need to change again. So I went to University of Jesus and did law and graduated. Eh? For I think 2004. Unijos. Unijos. And uh, I graduated 2008. So I went to Nigerian Law School 2008 up to 2009. Abuja campus. Abuja campus. So, you remember what they are about. So I was called to Pa 2009. During the law degree. Now, there were, uh, I had the understanding of the then the chief registrar and uh, the deputy chief registrar then as uh, justices uh, Sanchi and justice Musali, both now are justices of the court of appeal. Now I had the understanding. Eh? They even encouraged me to do this. So I used to tell them I was going to just uh, no problem. This they encourage. But one day, I went to the chief registrar, uh, Justice uh, Sanchi, Mr. Chansi, I mean Sanchi as he, as he was then. So I went to him to tell him that, uh, sir, that, I, uh, that I had a lecture the following day. I think it was uh, 9 o'clock or so, or 8 o'clock. So that I was, ah, he just he played up. Went very unusual. We have no, we can't go. We, can't, uh, we have to work here, we want to. So I left it like that. I came here, packed my bag, went back home. I got home, not quite long. Somebody called me to say that uh, I've been posted out of library. And I didn't comprehend. Posted out of the library. He said that, that they just pasted the posting on the board. Said, okay. That person said that she come and said, There is nothing to hold. It will be there up to tomorrow. So and that, that person said, Congratulations. I said, Congratulations for what? He said, ah. and So well, I now ask him, Why the congratulations? But I was posted to admit. <laughs> I, I came to work the following day, I went to the CR, where I've seen it, so he started smiling. I said, okay, this is, he wanted to do that, that's why he, anyway, so uh, that's how I left the library for, for admin. So I was in admin for quite a number of, uh, of years, so from there I left, I headed the, the procurement. I mean that I think they returned me to, to the library. So one faithful afternoon, I think in 2009, or about 2010, the then Chief Justice, Justice uh, Dairo Mustafa, mm -hmm. right, 
summon me to his chambers. So he look at me and say, Mr. Gold, I'm taking you to litigation department to hedge that department. Because like from library to admin, admin to procurement, procurement back to library, library to litigation. I said my and sincerely it was so. My Lord, I don't know what they do in litigation. I don't know. Yeah, but you have been called to that. I said, yes, but I've never practiced. I said, it doesn't require practice. That is a clerical work eh? that requires sincerity and honor. And honestly, I didn't know. But the Chief Justice has spoken. So the next thing I saw was the letter. So posting me to litigation department. Okay, I I have to. I don't. I been I been have alternative. So. Honestly, retirement is uh, something I look forward to sincerely. It means you have time for other things. Huh? From what I said, I've been in government service. And as primary school teacher, secondary school teacher, huh? uh, at a polytechnic, a lecture. So from there to Human Rights Commission, from there to the Supreme Court. Eh? It's a like government, 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 government. Eh? Your civilians uh, servants. Eh? Now, there are others that have been doing private and they are, they are successful. So I just look at, uh, I want to see the other side of the, of the world. So, so I just see retirement as a way one to rest and uh, to give uh, to devote your energy to other things. Especially, eh? you should devote your your heart to everything eh? to the service of Almighty God for devotion. The one I have, you know, litigation department, that is the nucleus of the court. Huh? This is when you say you are going to court, this is litigation. Huh? The work of court is on litigation, 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 litigation. Now, coming to realize that it is just one Supreme Court. We have high court in all the states, we have federal high court, we have uh, state high court, we have industrial court. Eh? All the appeals from all these courts lie at uh, the court of appeal. We have several divisions of court of appeal. Eh? Yes. We have several divisions. So all the appeals from all these divisions lie at Supreme Court, just one Supreme Court. Now, we are overwhelmed by the number of appeals that it is Supreme Court. Now, like um, we are, like now, I think this court is sitting on 2010 appeals. So, now everybody wants his or matter to be heard. Now, the constitution of Nigeria eh, has uh, given uh, election, pre-election and election matters, eh, preference all other matters. So, you are appeal. Now, uh, I don't know. Some people believe that um, if you get date, it's Mr. Gold. If you don't get, it's Mr. Gold. So, it's uh, 
I don't know how to describe that. Mm -hmm. Just go and see Mr. Go. I thought I see myself. Say, ah, what is it? What is it? But thank God for what it is. Now, there was a time I didn't know of this, not of much, much later. Somebody wrote a petition and swore to Abidavid eh, that I frustrated him becoming a governor of his state. It was a petition to the Chief Justice of Nigeria. There. Nobody invited me for for anything. Nobody. Only much later, I saw the minutes recently, it was known that uh, we have dealt, eh? we have dealt and we have spoken. Eh? So, uh, five. So, I now read all these things. This person swear to have either been and all the rest on something that I didn't know. This person believed that uh, that I was working for a serving governor then. That governor up to today, eh, the then governor, I think it's a minister now. Up to today, I've never met him one on one. He has never sent anybody to me. But this person went and said that this day, that I even sent somebody from my place. He mentioned the name of that person that uh, I sent him to him to beg him eh, for what I've done. Why? This person is not from my place. But when I saw this person, I now I started this this uh, this person that said that I sent you to beg. So like this, this I mentioned and I said, ah, it never happened. So now this thing is in record. Yeah? Nobody queried me about this, nobody did. And he said that uh, the Chief Justice then gave a directive. Eh? I didn't follow that directive. That directive is nowhere to be found. I think some people uh, accosted him and I said that it was when we were discussing that the CGM directed. And uh, by then, it was not only me that used to go to the chief justice, it was two of us. So when I saw, I stand, I remember this thing, it's really embarrassing. Because somebody will pick that document one day. So, <laughs> Now, a memorable moment is um, when a matter that is time back is time back, it has limitation of uh, time. For, for whatever, the lawyers yeah, maybe they didn't fight on time and they are not coming at the we are yeah, to show us that uh, this time we become academics and uh, and the matter has been filed earlier. Yeah? Maybe it is uh, this uh, the registry that didn't pay particular attention to it. Yeah? Now you can hire and work with the CJ. Uh, to confess our sin. The sin is that uh, this is from the registry. We didn't apart our mind to it. My Lord, this matter has to come up tomorrow or next. Huh? Do we agree? Just inform the justices. I do have the confidence to go to the justices. Having informed the CJ and I have directed Lo and behold, they will sit on the matter. And when such matter is reserved for, for judgment, I'm always on top of that. I'm always very happy about, about that. Mm. 
I will miss everything. Huh? I will miss the interaction, the wisdom of uh, these men of wisdom, the justices of the uh, of Supreme Court, who has taken me as their child. Huh? I will miss that. They always counsel me, they always advise me. I'm very free to them, to all of them. I will, I will certainly miss that. I will miss the staff of the litigation department who that I didn't know, they always look up to me. While I look up to some of them, but they say, ah, oh, that's like this, like this. Whereas they come here, eh, and the lady sitting there, they offer sincere advice. It doesn't matter if I like it or I don't like it, you say it. Eh? I, 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 I will miss this with people, eh? including the management. I've worked with all the justices from Justice Wins up to uh, Justice uh, Ibrahim Tanko Mohamed, the incumbent. So, for Justice Wins, uh, there, there was no much uh, interaction. Uh, I was a uh, level 14 officer, so I uh, had director, so no, no direct link with him. So I was there when uh, Justice Berger became the Chief Justice, still the, uh, me still the same. So when uh, Justice uh, Idris Tebo Kutigi of Blessed Memory became the Chief Justice of Nigeria, I, I was in admin, so I had direct dealings. I would be, he used to call him Goldie Man, anything again. So. <laughs> More directly uh, with him. After him, joined uh, Joseph Dalu Mustafa, who I said uh, brought me here. What is up to today? Of blessed memory, too. So, I got me uh, we work uh, together. I uh, mean, I work under him directly. So, after after Joseph, I mean, after Joseph Dalu Mustafa came Joseph. Uh, Mariam. Uh, uh -huh. So with Justice Larry uh, Mustafa, very, I mean, more closely, then uh, King uh, Justice Mariam Aluma Mutar. Uh, we were, I work, I work with her. Now, Justice uh, Aluma Mutar, when uh, she came, she had known me. Uh, in Supreme Court, there was a time when I was appointed to litigation. She called me, Mr. Good. She said, You'll be the head of litigation. I said, Yes. She cancelled me. So when she became the Chief Justice, we were still working together. So there was something that was striking about her. It was uh, about trust. There was no trust at all. Huh? So when we came, the diary, this is the diary. We always entered uh, the diary, the adjourn, the future and everything. So she took it upon herself that she will be the one to enter the appraisal the diary. She gives a red bio to do to do that. So anything you took to her, she will scrutinize it, look at it, ask questions and uh, so after some time, uh, the trust now came. Asked Mr. Go, it was uh, uh, Mr. Hamed Gambu, the now secretary of uh, NGC, the two of us. Yeah? It was the this year super I mean for the litigation. So we were together in Shemi. So his lordship Justice Saloma has trusted her so much that just take everything to her. He just say, You want me to sign? And she will sign. 
So we really, so after Justice uh, Aluma Mutar, then came with Justice Mahmoud, uh, Justice Mahmoud, yeah. because Justice Mahmoud had been uh, the supervising justice for the litigation department, we have been working together and uh, uh, giving counseling and uh, so what we are doing. When uh, when he left, then came uh, Justice. Uh, uh, sorry, just what I'm looking. So another another came. When another another came. Yes, we work together. Well, we appreciate you, yeah, Mr. Gould. The reward for hard work is more work. That's what he usually told me. So, uh, when Justice Mahmoud left, I mean, when he became the Chief Justice of Nigeria, Justice I.T. Muhammad, that the present uh, Chief Justice of Nigeria, was the one supervising us in litigation. So we were working directly, we have known ourselves, we know me, eh? and there's uh, so much uh, trust, as it were. So after Justice Onadia left, so it's a up to today. So I've worked with all those that I've mentioned. The advice is about uh, there must be sincerity of purpose. There must be sincerity. There must be sincerity. Then there must be contentment. Contentment and contentment. What do I mean? I told you earlier that the uh, Supreme Court is the only one. Eh? We have several uh, trial courts. That's high courts. We have so many divisions of uh, Court of Appeal, but here it's just here, and everybody wants this matter to go for one reason or the other. So now the intent to compromise, huh? if there is no contentment, it will be a bit, huh? and uh, if such happens, you will not be able to defend it, and you are bringing the name of the institution yeah, down. And uh, I will advise the person to be open to the staff. To be open, this is what is going on there. And to participate yeah, in the processing. When matters are coming up, you should, you should partake. Okay? You should not just sit here eh? and be there. You should go there. Because if he doesn't, he will not be able to answer some question that may be posed to him unknowingly. And he will not be able to be close to the justices, as it were. As uh, somebody who, from uh, there are people that they say from grace to grace, eh? I'm somebody from nowhere to somewhere. Nowhere in the sense that uh, I've never mentioned here that my parents are this, they are rich, they are this, eh? I've never mentioned that. I've never mentioned that uh, anything about nobility, eh? that uh, we are this, we, uh, this is the title in the house and uh, all, all the rest. Eh? Just somebody, I told you about my secondary school. Eh? I told you about my secondary school. There was no subject combination, as it were, no subject combination. Uh, it was arithmetic, social studies, integrated science. Uh, this is the background. So I never thought 
to reach this height. I never dreamt of that. I never. So, having got into this height, eh, immediately I was called to bar. Eh, I was called to head. It's not. It's not something that I I thought of. I never looked for. I mean, for 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 this. So now, who am I? It was, I mean, it isn't taken for granted. Eh? You can discuss with the Chief Justice of Nigeria. Look at they are sent for me now. Eh? I'm going to, no hindrance to the justices of Supreme Court. I, I can call them. So it's uh, something that is God making. So that is the family, not Ibrahim. <laughs> That is that is the that is the family name. Ugo is a family name. It's not only me. Yeah? I've mentioned like three that uh, we enter uh, between primary school and enter secondary school. There are several. I mean, there are several. There are several others. Yeah? And in Kwara, there was a new set of service. Yeah? And that's our uncle Elijah Moody Good. There was uh, the secretary to state government. Yeah? The, the past government, uh, that is set as good. Eh? So, his family name, we have uh, some of our uh, principals in various federal and uh, state uh, schools. So, it's a, I mean, it's a, family, it's a family name. Who, I mean, the name was given to our, our grandfather. Uh, just like I told you, that uh, we grew up in Ibefe. And so he was a merchant. Uh -huh. So he used to trade, eh, moving from Kano to Ife, all I mean, all over. Uh, I think what we got was he was so, he was so, he was known, eh? and uh, I think rich as uh, as it were. So. And uh, not only that, he was a religious person. Yeah? He was a man in the uh, in the army, actually. But so also my father was a man too. In, uh, in the... So I think because of this uh, nobility, that's our grandfather. Huh? So when they want to uh, address him, yeah? so I, I want to send you to that. Uh, Energy. Yeah? So they just describe his wealth with that name, yeah. gold. So I'm yeah, turning to allergy gold. Yeah? You go to allergy gold and everybody embraces it. I think when they took our fathers uh, to the school, yeah? is it sign six or sign whatever they did? Yeah? They had there. So when they wanted to raise, nobody knew uh, how, I mean, our grandfather's uh, name. So they just registered them like that. <laughs> And uh, the name registered. So it's just uh, about determination, as it were, and uh, uh, girls' arms in, in everything.